Hey guys, Tim McCamus, back out in the shop again. Wanted to answer a question this evening that, uh, that we get asked all the time. We sell a lot of pre-bent chassis kits. You guys look, see them on our site, uh, they're very popular. We bend those things up every day. We're bending up one to send out. And um, we have really good instructions that go with them. But one of the things that we don't touch on is how do I start with a jig or a fixture? Okay, so this fixture here, this table here is obviously way, way overkill because um, we do this every day and we've got this set up for a lot of different jigs and things that go on it. So you don't need anything like this. I mean, a nice flat surface plate is ideal, but it's not necessary. So the simplest thing you can do is just use two by three rectangular tubing and stand it on edge so the three inch side would be standing um, vertically and build your table out of that. And, and you basically can build the table similar to the size of the, of the floor of the chassis. So if you look at the prints, the, the um, second, third, fourth pages kind of go over the, the floor diagrams and it'll give you some dimensions on where the, the uh, frame rail width is and where the rear cross member is. So you want to build it you know, a little longer than the chassis. So for instance, the frame rail stops right here. You know, we want to be out um, another 24 inches in front of that because later on down the road, we're going to need to mount the front end and we're going to need something to set that front end on. So I would build this with two by three on edge and I would put that lined up with the lower frame rails and I would build everything square. So I would, I would have a two by three tube under my rear cross member. And then I would have two by three tubes running all the way out the front here, like 24 inches past the end of the frame rail. On the sides, whatever the length of your rear cross member is, I would go out about six inches on each side of that because once you mount the body, you're gonna have um, the rocker panels and stuff that you're gonna wanna support to mount that uh, body on the chassis. So cut you first piece you should cut is a, is a two by three piece, um, one foot longer than the total length of your rear cross member then come off of that forward with um, two long pieces of two by three and then put one across here in the front where this front cross member is going to be one where your transmission cross member is going to be and then you can just simply use um, one inch square tubing and uh, like three or four inch length pieces of angle iron which would just be like a one inch angle like a one by one angle and that will be used to capture the frame here and once you get that set up, you can extend that back past the rear cross member and go ahead and capture the tail section of the car. So the biggest thing is you want it to be flat. Um, so you want to take your time. Don't build it on some warped up old concrete floor. You've got to shim it and make sure that it's flat. Um, put some legs on it, get it up in the air, 18 inches, 20 inches or so, so it's easy to work on. Make the legs adjustable so you can you can put a cap on them and just use a half inch coarse thread bolt to be able to adjust that leg up and down with. So you need to spend a little time on it. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna build one of these chassis, this is a big investment and it's a big project. So it's kind of like starting out building a new house, but building the foundation out of some rickety old junk you found out behind the barn. You need to have a nice foundation to start on the chassis with. So. So an, a real simple table, and you can just wire feed that together. You can just MIG that thing together. And uh, I tell you what we do is, is uh, to get it level is get a transit. So get a, a, a nice transit. It doesn't have to be a new one. It can be any kind of transit that you can set up away from the jig. And then get your buddy to help you and use a tape measure and, and go around and, and pick up those points on all sides of that um, table and level it with a transit. So that'll get your table nice and level. And then you can set your stands up to the right length so the heights and all that are in the print. So you can cut those to length and tack the angle iron onto it. It doesn't have to be forever. You can tack this thing together. It doesn't have to be welded solid and have this big boat anchor that you can never do anything with. You, you may want to knock it apart when you're done and put the tubing back in the rack. But that's a, most of the time that two by three tubing is is really straight. I mean, and it doesn't need to be thick. It can be what stuff we use. Here's 083 wall. So it can be 83 wall or 120 wall. Um, doesn't have to be, it's not expensive. It's mild steel welded seam stuff. So it's cheap to buy. And it really takes, you know, a couple, two, three evenings and you can whip out a table that you can build this chassis on. 
that's what I would recommend for starting out with one of these chassis kits. I would, I would spend some time on my table and get a nice fixture that I can use to build the chassis, but also to mount the body on once you get to that point. And you can leave it open in the back. You know, you can just put the rails down the center of the, of the chassis and catch that tail section and kind of leave it open like we've got in the back here. That way you can get up under the, the body when you're fitting the tubs and stuff in there. It makes it a lot easier to work on than having that all filled in back there. So the tail section should be a little narrower than the rest of the base of the, of the floor. But again, um, it's worth the investment. It's, it's not expensive. You're really going to have more time in it than you have um, material cost. So take your time, lay it all out, that stuff, you know, cutting it square and, and squaring it up with a, even a carpenter square or something will get you really close. Um, you know, anytime you do a, um, a rectangular structure or anything that's square, if you measure it in an X, you know, so measure from corner to corner, that number, if it's dead on, that thing is square. So check those numbers, make sure that they're right, and you'll have a really nice jig table that will produce a, a chassis every bit as good as the one we built here in the shop. Tim McCamus, that's all I got for tonight. Thanks for watching. I can't get my fucking balls to swing the right way. There we go.